Ready up. <laughs> hey guys, this is Cam for 15. <laughs> this time for uh, our Dragon Quest episode review, side by side with my co host in the same room. Yes. Uh, the Red Wolf. And it's been a very long time since we've done a video like in this format. <laughs> Yeah, and you know for for what reasons, guys? Yeah, um, let, let's just say like if we go to like my early stage videos, this is when we used to be like side by side in person together. Honestly, honestly, I like this. I, honestly, I like this format better than what we usually do at the, these days. Because oh my god, I don't have to like constantly like. <laughs> yeah. Hey, the good thing about Zoom is well. You can do long distance recording calls. It's easier to communicate with you. Yes. <laughs> Anyways, um, other than uh, having this review in person like the good old days, uh, we are back with another Dragon Quest episode review. If you're wondering why this uh, episode review is coming up late this Friday, um, no, I did not attend a varsity, my varsity home game because uh, there was no varsity Friday night home game. It was actually Thursday. I actually went to go see Venom 2, Let There Be Carnage in theaters. Um, so that's why there was no um, stuff like that. There was no episode review. And that's why if you saw late in your inboxes, why the hell did he post a, a review of Venom, Let There Be Carnage? Well, there you go. Um, but uh, this episode was intriguing from the standpoint uh from the, from the sta from the standpoint now we kind of know what Baron's true motives is and he's not really doing evil things anymore mm -hmm. I guess you can say yeah I guess so he's like uh, just uh, playing like he's he, he just he doesn't care but he shows in his eyes. he shows that he cares deep down um but uh yeah let's get into this episode review now we start off with Hadlar and uh, Hadlar Albanas and him. And uh, what do we see Mr. Hadlar doing? Yeah, like, I guess... Hmm, I guess the way to, the best way to explain this is that... As, 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 as soon as uh, Hadlar got, like, his transformation ready, like, he just immediately went out, like, in a flash. Like, he didn't take time to, like, I don't know, like... I guess let the body fully come together or something yeah, like that. Yeah, I guess that. so. <laughs> it was too fast. Yeah, and it's also implied like he's like also dying too mm -hmm. um, because of him coughing up all this blood and everything. And because cause in his speech he's like, I don't care if, I'm, if I eventually die. All I want to do is I just want to kill Avon's students. I killed Avon. I want to kill his pesky students that keep staying alive and they keep escaping my grasp. So uh, he's pretty damn desperate. And his plea to do this has literally him crying in tears. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it's like, oh, so these people, so the, so the pawns actually do have a, I guess you could say quote unquote hearts. Or they have emotions. So they even have honor. Yeah, well, it's a Ben friend. Um, but uh, very interesting to say the least. So it, uh, I'm guessing he's gonna get to his limit to where how long he can stay as a superior being, and then he's probably gonna. It, it, now again, post that in the comment section if we're wrong, if we're confused on anything. I think he's why he's slowly dying because the power he's had this power for an enormous amount of time, and you know I'm guessing he can't hold on to it forever. Mm. I feel, I feel I feel like he just immediately rushed out as soon as he like got it like mm -hmm. got the power like he he went out even though he wasn't fully ready so mm -hmm. um again put this in the, put in the comment section if we're if we're not interpreting the scene right again I watched this episode super late at night like I watched this episode as I was watching my Venom review upload to YouTube so some things I didn't really get down I might have some notes but yeah um. Anyways, we cut over to the field of death. We have Pop, Hunickel, and Crocodile finally show up there, um, and they come across Chu and the other members. He in his little group that are badly injured. Now Hunickel senses something, and he tells Pop, "Get the hell out of here right now." So Pop's like, "But why?" He's like, "Just leave right now. Me and Crocodile will take care of this." So Pop leaves, um, and who shows up? <sighs> Dice Father Baron himself. What is he here to do? He came here to kill King Vern. 
Yep. Um, and he said he's going to do this alone. Now, Crocodile, he's like, oh, really? We have the same goals. That means we can work together on this. Now, we know from the Baron arc, uh, he wasn't so uh, about working with people. So uh, he kind of punches Crocodile away. He's like, I don't need your help, nor do I need to rely on people. I'm stuff like that. But um, the thing is, what is the thing that... Um, it makes Hunical kind of intrigued with the reason why Baron's doing this. Well, he, well, he saw uh, Baron's expression when he said, do it for, like, go back and let me handle it, do it for die and stuff. Mm -hmm. And that, and that's when Hunical real, uh, realizes that Baron plans to sacrifice himself. Yeah. Um, it makes sense. Like, honestly, other than Hadlar and I guess a little bit of Dai, next to Vern, I'm guessing Baron could probably take him. Maybe do enough damage to weaken him so then Dai can potentially finish him off, I'm guessing. We still haven't seen what Baron, what, what, what Baron can do. Yeah, that is true. Because even Hinek was saying, if you try to fight Baron, you're just asking to die, and Baron's completely fine with that. I think at this point, Baron's like, what else do I have to live for? Like, honestly, you know, my wife died, yeah, I have my son, but I'm not really emotionally attached to him. No, and plus he chill, he chillaxes with the humans, and I don't like humans at all. So I think from Baron's perspective, perspective is like, why is he going to uh, stay alive, and why just try to sacrifice yourself, do enough damage to Vern, so then you have the, rem the I guess, the next generation be able to take them out um, and stuff like that. Now, um, he goes like, okay, listen, if you want to go do that, you're gonna have to stop me first. So, Hinnacle drops his spear down, and he gets in a stance, and then two, his aura completely goes away. Like, it's gone. There's no sense of aura and anything. And essentially, it's a move Avon did to where, with canceling out this aura, and they even say that he did this against Hadlar back in the past, and by doing this, he can essentially counteract any move necessary to defeat an opponent. Now we see uh, Albinus and uh, him in the, I guess, background, and they're like, oh, huh. it's very interesting what's going on. Now, Albinus gets involved, but him never wanted to. Um, but Albinus gets involved because of this. Baron's also attacking, as well as Albinus attacks. And we find out essentially by the end of the episode what happened is, um, um, ha not Hedler, um, Hinekel countered only the Albinus move, but he ended up getting badly wounded from the attack Baron gave him, um, and stuff like that. And they quote unquote say, Baron says he's never going to fight again, which I call bullshit. He's gonna fight again. He's gonna fight again. Hmm. I wonder though, what if he isn't gonna fight again? What if, what, what, what if your theory is incorrect? Maybe after this, maybe he doesn't fight again. I don't know. I, I, I call BS because we see in the new opening, which we'll get to at the end of the episode, that he's literally fighting, obviously, him again. So it's like, why make that line? I, I, I just take it as like, okay, he's badly damaged and he might not fight in the final battle. He might not be able to participate in the final battle. But we know he and Nichols, that type of character. He'll take punishment and then he'll get right back up and continue fighting again. Well, yeah, it's the opening, but I know from experience that not all openings are accurate. <laughs> Trust es me. Especially in Seven Deadly Sins, if you continue to comment. Yeah, and when you watch the openings, and you like, see some characters fighting, but they never actually do. Well, yeah, because sometimes the openings are different, but nowadays, more modern anime, when they do their openings, they have spoilers to that indirect part in what's going to happen for that representative art. Okay. Let's let's see if that's true then. But I have my doubts. We'll see. Well, yeah, we'll we'll see. We'll see. But um, yeah, that what happens. Uh, the episode essentially ends off with them wondering, okay, who's gonna help out raid the field and definitely create essentially a distraction. And that's when Baron shows up at the end. He's like, I'll do it. And then he shows himself in front of everybody and dies shocked, pops shocked. And that's what especially he pop yeah he's like oh god not this guy again because he technically died to this guy so mm -hmm. um yeah but that's it so um 
Yeah, this episode was pretty good. Definitely next week seems to be damn good because we're going to have father and son side by side. Very intriguing. Um, and again, like I said, one of the Troika members seems to be me- like romantically invested into Hineko because we see in that episode preview, she tries to take care of him, but then he walks away or something like that. So, mm-hmm. um, yeah, things are going to be happy. And I'm guessing we're getting to the final, final arc of this story. Um, and again, before we end off this video, um, there's a new opening and a new ending. I like the new opening. Um, I, I do. I, I, I'm going to have to give it a few watches to get hooked on the song. Um, but I think it was about time they finally do a new opening. You know, I honestly, I thought they should have did the new opening when they had a new ending. The, the second ending. But, hey. I guess, I guess this means that Dragon Quest Avenger and Daya is, is, isn't over, isn't close to being over yet. <laughs> well, the way the ending structures, it seems like we're getting to the final battles. Yeah. Because hmm. I don't see the story. I, I don't see how what the story is going to be after they defeat. How many episodes are we in now? Yeah. 51. I guess it'll reach 100. It could reach 100. It could. It depends on how the pacing goes. Like, and stuff like that. Because I feel like this is halfway after the second opening now. Uh, what the oh, second opening give me? It just, from what I saw, it just, it, I just feel like we're in the final arc of this. I, I'm only saying, I'm probably guessing this series is going to end with maybe 70 or 80 episodes. If we get to 100, I'm fine with that. I think it's going to end around 7 to 80 episodes, maybe, maybe 90. Because I just feel like this is the final. I think this is it. This is the final storyline. This, this this is it. After this arc, it's done. Dragon Quest is done. It's been going on like a year or two. I don't remember when it first aired. I forgot when it first aired. <laughs> we should look back. Um, yeah, we can look back after the video's over. But uh, yeah. Um, but hey, it's in the start of the new fall anime, or I guess new um, seasonal anime slot time in fall of anime 2021. Um, because today was officially, today's officially the day where all the fall animes are coming out now. Once this series is over, I would, I, I definitely rewatch it again. I would. Oh yeah. <laughs> Especially if they give this anime a dub. Yes. Yes. I wonder if you're actually going to have accents, like, because I know in some of the Dragon Quest games, they like have like that something. Like... They might, they might, who, who knows? I, I definitely do think with the Crunchyroll Funimation merger, there definitely could be an English dub there. Um, I would be guessing that Funimation would be probably taking the reins on the dub though, mm-hmm. compared to Crunchyroll, because Crunchyroll, let's just say they're not very consistent with dubs. Funimations would Funimation, if they have a fall anime in their roster, they dub it all. Any anime they get, they they we all know Funimation just dubs anyway. Crunchyroll, they just have a select few animes in that respective season that they just dub. And it's like, oh, you want to see this dub? You're not going to get it. Like, for example, Girlfriend, Girlfriend, they didn't dub it, but they dubbed Rent a Girlfriend. And I'm like, oh. now I have an even bigger question. Yes. Why, why haven't they put the whole Bleach series in Funimation if they, if they, if they even put it in Funimation? Because it's, it's not owned by Funimation. God dang it. God dang it. I, 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 I wanted the chance to at least watch the rest of the series in the dub, but I only, I only get the sub version. Come on, and, and crunch your roll, really. Well, you can go to either Hulu or you can go to viz.com video and watch the entire series dubbed that way. And it's all free. Mm-hmm. Why'd I, have to, why'd I have to pull another app just to watch? Hey, that's, it's your life, not mine. I haven't started watching Bleach yet, but uh, anyways, guys, uh, I think we're just wrangling on the video. Anyways, hopefully you guys, <laughs> Cameron, I am this close. <laughs> What's going on? Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Um, we'll see you guys uh, next week uh, for Dragon Quest episode 52. Probably not like this again, but hey, once in a while, it's fun. I'm small. <laughs> yes. I can deny it no longer. Um, but anyways, if you guys like this video, leave a like. Put in the comment section uh, your thoughts on Dragon Quest episode 51, as well as hit that subscribe button, not only to my channel, but my co-host channel, The Red Wolf. I'll link it in the description below. Um, and when you do hit the subscribe button, make sure you hit the notification bell icon to make sure you're up to date with whatever 
Um, we upload to our individual channels, so you don't wonder, did they upload today? And then you just get it straight to your messages on your phone or something. I don't know. Um, but other than that, uh, we're going to get out of here, guys. Hopefully, you guys have a great rest of your day or night with you on this video. Until then, guys. We'll see you guys on the next video. Hopefully, actually, I'll, I'll, I'm going to get this out the way now before anything, before I make some sort of quick update video. Um, there will be not, there will not be a Dragon Quest episode uh, review next Friday. So episode 52 is going to be off the tables. I'm getting my wisdom teeth pulled again. Um, so there will be no uh, episode um, 52 review. When I start feeling better um, and I can actually get a semblance of talking, um, we'll come back and we'll probably obviously review episode 52 unless we'll just wait till next the Friday after the uh, episode 52 and just do a combination of episode 52 and 53 review. I think we probably should do that honestly. Mm -hmm. um, makes things better. So not so this upcoming Friday there will be no Dragon Quest episode review. The Friday after that they'll, you'll probably get a Dragon Quest episode 52 and episode 53 review. And we'll cover both episodes and stuff like that. We'll probably only be covering episode 53, but if some crazy shit happened in episode 52, then we'll give the right amount of time um, to cover it, to cover it and get both our thoughts um, instead of just me probably making a quick review on my own and stuff like that. But again, schedules have to work out and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, just to let you guys know, I'm getting my wisdom teeth pulled. So any anime reviews I review this week and stuff like that, like especially if i'm gonna be watching some of these new fall animes start reviewing them too um well um you're gonna have to be patient and wait another week because i'm gonna be out of commission for this upcoming week I'm not looking forward to it but other than that guys oh my god we're gonna get out of here hopefully you guys have a great rest of your day on our channels whenever you're checking out this video until then guys catch you guys on the next video see you guys later peace